Hello everyone. Uh, let's today complete complete the adventure, the Winter Wonderland adventure of the Run Marco game. Uh, all we have to do is again navigate to the Run Marco allcamco.com. Let me <coughs> maximize the screen and hit the play button. Uh, today I'm gonna choose Marco as my character, and we're playing the Winter Wonderland game. And remember last time uh, we came up with some path that looked very complicated to step on all the tiles in level 11. So let's revisit that one more time. So this is the this is the maze and last time we had some code. Let me see if I can move it around a little bit and figure out which one is the correct one. I think this is the correct way. Okay. Okay. So I did not come up with anything simpler than what we had last time, but I came up with a bizarre way, <laughs> I would say bizarre way of navigating the maze. And this is just to, I, I'm going to show it to you. And this is just to show you that, you know, you can really experiment and try different ways and try different combinations of jumps and uh, steps and get some interesting paths. So let me illustrate this on a picture. Uh, so this is a snipping tool. And what I was thinking about, or what I came up with is, so when Marco starts here, we just go step, 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 and go all the way here, make some steps. And from here on, I need this tile to stay open. So I'm going to do jump, another jump. This is really important, otherwise I wouldn't be able to step on all the tiles. So I'm going to skip these two tiles and then here again step, 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 step. And when I get here, I do jump, turn, jump, step, step, step. Okay. So just to illustrate the point, uh, uh, let me run the game all the way to the almost the last time. Okay and you will see what I mean. So, let's run this. So, we just navigate through steps, 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 all the time steps. And remember here I have to make a jump, another jump to leave those tiles open because I'm gonna need them later, right? And now I can jump, jump, and finish. Well, okay, other than the last step, finish everything. So you can see we can have some fun, we can experiment a little bit, experiment with jumps and steps and hopefully learn even more coding. So let me add the very last step and finish this level. Remember here we have to skip a tile, skip a tile and now use those tiles that we skipped last time to to step on them this time. Perfect. So, and we just have one level left. So let's take a look at it together and see if we can figure out some nice way to navigate through this maze. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. So there is an interesting... I'm trying to figure out if we can somehow leverage. There is this pattern of, see you have bushes, bushes on the side here, here. And here this is kind of like a bush. So if we somehow get to the right place, we might be able to use some repeat statements and avoid avoid writing too much code. So that's one of my goals. And the other goal is I really want to I really want to be able to navigate the whole you know whole maze, step on all tiles. So since Marco is facing this way, perhaps what we can try to do is if we go this way straight and do this inner square first or inner loop first 
and that then get all the way here and do the outer loop that seems like we should be able to step through it like this okay so let's try it so first we need to get uh, da -da 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 -da. yes okay so first we're gonna do a jump so let's do that we're gonna s jump over the bush and then we have step step turn step step turn hold on step 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 so two steps turn two steps turn two steps turn oh and we would get stuck here so that's not good so can we do it differently so what did I mean so so if you okay uh, let me use the sketching tool again that actually helps so I can have the maze here and let now we can figure out how to navigate it right so you can just o jump over this bush and then I was thinking to go straight straight turn and now here we have two tiles that we would have to jump over and that we cannot do so perhaps if we come here and do it the other way first turn and do it this way and then come over here and now we just have the outer we have the outer tiles left that's all there is and so we should be able to visit them all just fine so let's try to do that so okay so I'm gonna go all the way here draw the inner square and then come here and just perhaps go all the way here and then jump jump step jump jump step jump jump step and jump okay okay so let's do that so I'm gonna drag it away but you can remember this so we we need to do the first jump we have that and now so we need to do jump and then we have to turn left right away that's the tricky part and then after we turn left we do two steps turn so do step step turn right and step step turn right step step turn right step step turn right and so what I'm trying to say is that we gonna do this a few times so let's see if we can do it three times so we have jump forward turn and then we do it once twice okay and three times so this is perfect so we did once twice three times and now I have this tile to step on so for that I just step forward right and then turn left and do one more step forward okay and that should bring us all the way here and then we can decide if we're gonna turn left or right okay uh, let's make two steps forward then <laughs> and okay then we decide if we want to turn left or right okay. great so we are here now so let's see perhaps okay if we do one more step forward and then we do jump turn step jump jump uh, step no no we need to do two jumps yeah okay so jump step jump 
jump step jump jump step jump jump step jump well yeah <laughs> so we can we cannot do it I, I wish I we could do it more than three times so let's see uh, so let's do actually let's get all the way to this corner and then we can do it just three times and then finish with the last jump okay so let's turn left okay so as you can see I'm trying to figure this out I actually I played this game before but it's been probably a year so I am really trying to figure it out and hopefully you are trying to figure it out with me pause the video try to see how you can step through all the tiles so there are many solutions I'm just showing you one and I really hope you will exper experiment and come up with your own solutions so okay so over here let's turn left and make two steps step forward step forward and that should give us all the way to this corner and then okay so let's do it perfect so we are here now in this corner and now I was hoping to do some pattern that repeats right so we can turn left jump jump step and then the next time we do again turn left jump jump step and again turn left jump jump step and we still have one jump left but it's okay so so as I said we're gonna do turn left jump jump step and we're gonna repeat that three times so I'm gonna drag this into the repeat loop three times and notice we can travel this whole outer loop with just these few commands so let's run it okay and now that's the repeated pattern jump jump step jump jump step okay and all we have left is one more turn and one more jump so hopefully you can all see that we still need to do a left turn and one more jump okay uh, so again uh, try to experiment uh, I'm sure you can find a different path maybe you can find a path that uses less line of the code if you do maybe you can post it in you know in the Sar coding with uh, on the lesson devoted to run Marco the winter wonderland maybe you can post your solution you can just copy these steps one by one just type them in or at least you can say hey I was able to find a solution using you know 20 lines let's see how many lines we have we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, exactly 20. So we have, we have a solution with 20 lines. If you can find a solution with less lines, I would really like to see it. And if you do, I will definitely post it on my page and give you credit for it. So please do that and I look forward to your solutions so let me run this through one more time and hopefully we get all the way to the end okay and then again we do the outer loop jump jump step and jump jump step and one more jump and we are done perfect so we completed the winter wonderland uh, you can also look at the videos I, I posted I posted already for the jungle trouble uh, they are a little more advanced as I said uh, there is uh, motion commands motion statements uh, repeat loops and we also have while loops and also if then else statements so this is little more 
a little more coding that you learn but in any case you know you can do these in any order first do jungle trouble then winter wonderland or first winter wonderland and jungle trouble doesn't really matter uh, hopefully we I, I was able to teach you the concept in both of them and knowing this will really prepare you for a little more advanced games like scratch where you can do much more coding much more there are much more features mu much more statements or much more commands that you can use and we're gonna do that uh, at the at some follow-up lessons later okay uh, thank you for staying here with me and listening and i'll talk to you next time